all right welcome back just a quick recap at the end of the first tutorial of this uh, java who wants to be a millionaire tutorial i ended up uh, with creating uh, writing the following lines of code when we run the program what you will see is as follows so i'm just going to run this program and you guys see just to remind you of uh, the last tutorial this is how the last tutorial looks like so now that i've uh, so let's go back to the code view so we're back into the coding area the next thing is we will now declare or import some of these uh, some of the library that i'm going to need for this very tutorial so let me just scroll up right there so within the package right here i will import the following i have my import color in place already so i might as well just copy that put that back into the screen and uh, that was supposed to be for my black color but black I'm gonna need that the next is I'm gonna need another one for import Java AWT dot color now the next one is gonna be for white yeah that's fine now let's get another one for import I already have that in place let me import one for my oh that will be for java x java x dot swing dot image icon and one more for the frame I don't have to import this but uh, frame okay this would have been imported itself automatically within the uh, net bin but because i'm aware of it or it being imported that's why in the case of a uh, white and black you can see some errors there but don't worry about that those errors will disappear as soon as the program set but the next thing i will do right here just right here i will now declare the following variable so let me declare int call question that is a variable this variable the data type is integer the next thing is i will now let me declare a method by here i say public void initialize just to initialize my my variable right here that's my variable I just want to initialize it in this case let's just make it uh, oh sorry uh, make that equals zero okay since that is completed the next thing is uh, I'm going to declare some other variables here within my lottery package itself let me just uh, within my uh, q lottery public let me just dis delete all of this they sort of like in my way so i would now say let me say int count equals zero so this will be the counter so the force is zero and i will then declare a string and uh, this my very string will be called so i'm calling this very string image image names equals it's more or less it's like it's more or less uh, it's more or less an array so let me just put the name of the the name of my 
No, let me get my very false image right there. So the very false image I'm gonna million but JPEG. Because that's the first image, that's supposed to be one right there. That's a one. So that's my false image right there. Enter my semicolon there. So one thing that is missing is my quote right there. Put a quote here and uh, another quote right there. Good. Now let's move that down. I've got my very first variable set with my array. So the next one is let me import people. We got a people on board. So an integer people is declared and uh, is initialized with a zero. So let's get another fake, uh, another array in. In this case, I'm going to call that image, image people equals, get some arrays there, and then, the name of the people will be let's get the people in p underscore m underscore p underscore x dot j p g that is the name of my next image so you guys might be wondering those names where they come from. Let me just show you where they come from before I speed this up. Speed this up. Right here are the names of the images that I'm calling. This is the one I've just called right here. Look at it. PMPX.jpg right there. And the first one called is one millionaire J dot jpg so i'm gonna i'm not gonna speed it up so that uh, you guys uh, okay now I finish uh, declaring all the variables and array for my images there they are from here and down here look at that all the way those are my arrays declared Okay, let me let you guys see it properly. I will advise you guys to have a good look at it. Right up there. Come right down. And so on. Okay. So, the next thing I will do is to create my question. So, right here. I'm going to right click on it. Go to events and select. Select the click events. I think it's right there, mouse click. Yeah, it is mouse click. Come right down, that's it right there, mouse click. There we go. Right here, we have a mouse click, delete that. So, I will now call my question. Questions equals question plus one so let's just correct these are supposed to be quest all right and the other one is is next then. okay that's fine and my very first question is as follows if question equals one then we have I think it's called J text J text that'll be a capital letter J text J text field two dot text and enter the following so that will become 
what is nine multiplied by four in times a semicolon? That's for the question. In that case, that will be j text one there. So the next one will be for the answer. So now call that A it's for letter A and that is supposed to show the answer in this case. And the answer here, right here, are with 36. We have our answer in place. Okay. And that's J text field 2. This is lowercase. Let's change that to lowercase. Lowercase. We have another lower case. So I'll just speed this up and uh, uh, maybe just copy and paste anyway so that you guys see the false part of it. Let's just copy and paste that. We have three. I made that number four. Okay, this is. Uh, let's just change that to eight, 18. And the next, maybe 45 followed by 67 good so let's just rearrange it give it a better look yeah right that's my first question in place the next thing is I'm just gonna copy all of this question and just change it over for the second question so I'll speed that up and get back to you guys